Granville Stanley Hall was born on February 1, 1844. He grew up on a farm in Ashfield, Massachusetts. He was a psychologist who became the first president of the American Psychological Association in 1892. Founded the first American psychology laboratory at John Hopkins University. He was first American to earn a Ph.D. in psychology. His father was a politician and his mother a teacher, an upbringing that had an early influence on his love of learning. His initial studies and work centered on theology. Wilhelm Wundt inspired him to make the switch from philosophy to psychology. Hall went on to earn a doctorate in psychology from Harvard University under psychologist William James. When he returned to the U.S. after his time working with Wundt, Hall presented a series of lectures focused on education, and then went on to publish his first written work, An Analysis of German Culture. While G. Stanley Hall initially began his career teaching English and philosophy, he eventually took a position as professor of psychology and pedagogics at John Hopkins University. Among his many accomplishments was the creation of the American Journal of Psychology in 1887. In 1888, Hall left John Hopkins University and became president of Clark University, where he would remain for the next 32 years. This was a time of great professional triumph. But the period was marked by personal tragedy. In 1890, his wife and eight-year-old daughter both died of accidental asphyxiation. Later, his second wife was admitted to a mental hospital after years of erratic behavior. In 1892, Hall was elected as the first president of the American Psychological Association. In 1909, he famously invited a group of psychologists, including Sigmund Freud to speak at Clark University. The trip was Freud's first and only visit to the United States. Theoretical Contributions of Stanley Hall to Psychology Stanley Hall's primary interests were in evolutionary psychology and child development. He was heavily influenced by Ernst Haeckel's recapitulation theory, which suggested that embryonic stages of an organism resemble the stages of development of the organism's evolutionary ancestors. Hall was also a eugenicist, often opening expressing his views in writing. He also led a number of organizations devoted to eugenics. Eugenics is the practice of improving the human species by selectively mating people with specific desirable hereditary traits. It aims to reduce human suffering by breeding out disease, disabilities and so-called undesirable characteristics from the human population. Hall devoted a large amount of his work to understanding adolescent development, particularly in the area of aggression. He is often referred to as the father of adolescence. He described two different types of aggression, which were relational aggression and physical aggression. Where he suggested that physical aggression was more common among males, he believed that females were more likely to exhibit relational aggression. This type of aggression involves tactics such as social exclusion and gossip. Hall's contributions helped establish psychology in the United States and paved the way for future psychologists. Some of those who studied under his influence include Louis Terman, John Dawey, and James McKean Cattell. He died on April 24, 1924, at the age of 80.